The Sunflower Land team has been on a feature freeze for the last 3 weeks and are finally back with some updates. Hey my fellow fake online friends, welcome back to another video on Sunflower Land. My name is RV, I'm a very active Sunflower Land player and in this video, I will summarize the latest Sunflower Land 40 minute long stream in just 10 minutes so that you can spend more time with friends and family during this holiday season while they confront you about buying Bitcoin at $60,000. Disclaimer, please note that this information from the team is purely for education and entertainment purposes purposes, take everything they say with a grain of salt and the information shared aren't guaranteed to make it into the game. And none of this is financial advice. This video will be covering some exciting updates including Island Prestige teaser, new fish edition, bot NFT walking in the plaza, and some Q&A from the curious nerds. Let's dive right in! Island Prestige teaser Obviously, Adam has been dropping some teasers on Twitter and looking at this picture right here, what's beneath the cloud and how do players unlock them? So looks like apart from the information available on the official document, there will also be some hidden info in the new island prestige for players to figure out. This adds to the mysterious vibe at Sunflower Land and definitely will empower the spirit of exploring and progressing the game. Now my favorite teaser is of course this, the tiny tent to an actual house. I've mentioned it in a previous video that your bumpkin home will soon be an expandable building. This will allow you to place NFTs inside the house and you can now keep your farm tidy and spacious while you still get to enjoy the boost of the NFTs placed inside your home. This will definitely help as you prestige because the space on your new island will be quite limited at first. Now what you see in this video right here is the indoor space of a bumpkin tent. The actual bumpkin house on Prestige 1 will actually be much bigger. Inside your bumpkin home, you will also see a big clear portrait of yourself with your proud background collection. Wait, is that considered as narcissism or self-love? I don't know, the word today is so confusing. So I've been wondering about this. What is this? New resource on the new island? Well, not really. Turns out, it's just the same tree we used to have but now with a new skin. Looks like the tree will actually look a little different due to different themes of the new prestige islands. However, there will indeed be a few new resources added into the game. Adam confirmed this on the stream but did not specify what exactly are those. However, he did hint that these ideas have been talked about among the community for around two years. Okay, look, I love teasers but I also hate the feeling of cliffhanger. So let's play a little bit of detective game here. If we go back to the original document on Island Prestige, you will see that there are Wildflower, Magic Mushroom, and Ruby Mine. Among these three resources, the one that has the highest probability to make it into the game is probably Magic Mushroom. This is because there are already some bot NFTs giving boost to the Magic Mushroom and I think they were likely to be delivered. Look, only one Magic Mushroom bot is listed right now and it costs around $400. We shall see its value when the new resource is finally launched. One part of the document mentioned that there will be experiment on some cap resource vents. In short, these nodes will eventually run out and will not continue to respawn for unlimited mining. If you have been around for the past year and you probably would have noticed that the picture here looks very much like the boulder feature that was killed before it was even launched. Maybe, just maybe, that this is the long-awaited diamond boulder and this is how it looks when it's completely depleted while the other one at the center is the depleted version of the ruby mine. Well, except for ruby is actually red in color. You know what, actually this one might be gold. But you get what I mean. Like I said, these are just random speculation for fun so do what you want with it. Apart from this, Yotingo asked if this is known as the Prestige 1. Well, Adam answered that internally they are calling it Prestige 0, 1, 2, but names will be given to the islands later. For example, Paddle Paradise, Spring Island, or Volcano Island. In fact, they might not even call this feature Prestige. They will probably go with something else that casual players can easily understand, and I'm all pro for that. KDOC asked, can you make so that we could place items like rubber ducky and kraken on the water? Adam said they haven't really thought about it too far but there is a different type of water coming into the game and maybe they should place some stuff on there. There you go, that's another teaser right there. Now before I move on from this update, I want to add that if you notice upon successful land expansion, all resource nodes will actually respawn immediately. Now if this still happens with the new island prestige then perhaps it's an intended effect for the new player to progress more effortlessly. So you know what to do then. Just make sure that you mine all resources before you expand at the new island and rinse and repeat. New fish and the deep sea helm. 
the exciting one first, the new unlockable Deep Sea Helm. This is a new quest that will require you to catch at least 5 of every fish before you claim the wearable, which will quote unquote increase the chance of catching marine marvels significantly. Now the team probably introduced this knowing that there are only 2 recorded catch on marine marvels so far, and basically nobody wants to even try anymore. So it's probably smart to wait until you unlock this item before trying again. RIP to those who literally threw tons of block bucks into the ocean. Now I actually think this quest is considered very difficult because you have to catch 5 of this, 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 and this. Looks like Warriors and some fishing bot owners will have some advantage on this, so good luck everybody. Apart from that, a few more fish will be added onto the existing ones. If you slow down the stream, you can tell that there will be one new fish added to each basic, advanced, and expert fish category. During the stream, Adam did quickly reveal that the new basic fish will be halibut, which looks like this. New expert fish that is relatively harder to catch is the parrot fish. This is how it looks like. While the new advanced fish is not revealed, but if you take a closer look, it does look like the angel fish in the proposal. There will also be a new fishing spot at the beach. It is said that some fish can only be caught at the original fishing spot, while some others can only be caught at the beach. But I guess it's referring to the three new fish, right? So look, if you haven't finished the current fishing quest, they will become slightly harder because you now have to catch an extra fish for each tier. But according to Adam, the new addition will not be super difficult to catch like the rare sharks. So I guess if you are like one fish away, like me, from completing a specific quest, Try to get them before January, but if you're like only halfway through, then feel free to take your time. If you haven't done the basic and advanced fishing quest, feel free to check out my video tutorial where I show you the right baits and charms to use and how to use your resources more efficiently. But in the plaza. Is it just me or bot owners aren't really getting much love ever since the NFT launch? But hey, you can soon place your bots on the plaza and this feature will be introduced together with the ability to react with emotes when you're at the plaza. Now look, if you have like 9 bots, you can place all of them at the same time but as soon as you walk away from them, they will vanish into a puff of smoke and all your bot NFTs will be gone. No, I was just kidding of course. Or was I? Now this is definitely a nice little feature for bot owners to show off and it does add nice virtual pet vibes to the game. Hopefully, we will soon see a feature where you will be required to feed your bots with gold and then they will poop SFL every 6 hours. Nope, don't think that's gonna happen. Q&A and others. Delta Omega suggested that they would like to see Bird's Obsession to be purely non-tradable assets as kind of a proof for participation. Now Adam agrees on that and he said the next season will move towards even more to that direction. Yotingo asked, what is the red button that Adam teased on Twitter? X RV, not Twitter. X. Adam said he won't reveal too much about that but it has something to do with New Year's Eve. My guess is that it has something to do with the New Year's tiara. Let's see. Apart from that, Spencer has been working on some massive performance issues. Sounds like the game speed and performance will increase significantly with this patch. At the same time, Composter Boost update, players have complained that it costed a lot of eggs but the buff isn't too crazy so they are increasing the buff on that. I looked up the codes on this one. Hey managed to work that sentence into my script. I always wanted to say, I looked up the codes. Makes me sound smart, eh? Anyway, looks like there will be one hour additional boost on each composter if you choose to boost them with additional eggs after this. In case you haven't noticed, we now have a confetti animation when you open a chest or complete a capture. Okay, mm, nice. Finally, congratulations to all the winners of Grinx's Hammer and Ancient Road for the Christmas event. I'm very happy for you guys. Well, not really, but you know. Yay. Hey, if you find this video helpful, please take 2 seconds to press the like button so that more people will find out about Sunflower Land. Personally, I'm super looking forward to the updates coming in January, especially the Island Prestige. I'll be sure to make some timely content so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out anything important. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.